Well, we recently celebrated the 50th anniversary of General Hospital, one of the most popular daytime shows of all time. And as part of the fun, I got to make my soap opera debut in a cameo playing a devious doctor named Kelly Curtis. In case you missed it, in fact, I did. Check it out. Uh, sorry for the delay, doctor. Oh, no need to apologize. Was that your son, Spencer, named after your mother's other family? That's a strange question for a doctor to ask, isn't it? Well, I always try to put my patients at ease, Prince Nicholas. Uh, Nicholas will, will do just fine, Dr. Curtis. Curtis. But you can call me Kelly. And I just want you to know I am very discreet. Anything you tell me will be strictly confidential. Do you know who this woman is? Certainly not a doctor. No, she's a sleazy tabloid reporter. Journalist. Kelly Curtis, Access Port Charles. Ugh. Prince Nicholas, can you comment on your mother's reunion with Luke Spencer? And will Scott Baldwin still be a factor? And what's changed in the years since the original groundbreaking <laughs> love triangle? Katie. Kelly, Kelly. Listen, if you publish or broadcast any portion of this so-called interview here, we'll proceed to purchase the Access Port Charles production company, shut it down, and then fire you. Well, you're infringing on my First Amendment rights. Trust me, I can afford to do that. And now get your skinny ass out of my hospital. Okay. <laughs> so bad. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Live from Fort Charles, one of General Hospital's most popular faces, the Emmy Award winning Nancy Lee Gron. Hi, Nancy. <laughs> Oh my God. Hi, everybody. So good to she see you. She said you had a skinny ass. I know. I was so flattered when she said I had a skinny ass. But I did actually help the writers come up with that storyline, which I thought was sort of clever because when a news event happens, sometimes sleazy tabloid reporters actually sneak into hospitals. See, now what's interesting is that you, they took your storyline ideas. They don't take mine. I don't understand why. It's not funny. Well, you, you, You're a much bigger name. Well, obviously you love doing the show. You've been on it for 17 <laughs> I years. Do. I met Nancy when yeah, I was out there. 18, I, fell, yeah. I fell in love with her right away because she's so much fun and so great. Can I just say something right right now since you brought that up. I spent time with Katie and I have radar for a good broad. My mom was one, my sisters are two, and you are a great broad. So Aww. welcome to the club. Well, thank you. Thank you, Nancy. Right back at you. So tell me about, you know, Thanks. I know you guys just wrapped up the nurse's ball. I got to be there uh, when you guys were, were filming that. Yeah. How did it stack up compared to years past? It was huge. I think the ratings were the highest in 18 months. It was, I mean, General Hospital's back on the map. We really are. If this is this. We are general hot. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. It's on fire. It's great. And what what keeps you around General Hospital? Again, you're almost at eight at the 18 year mark. I'm sure there's a soap opera behind the scenes in some cases, but it seemed to me like the cast really loves and cares about each other. It is like a second family, and you love them like your your family. You fight with them like your family. <laughs> yeah. You pick on them, tease them like they're your family. Well, I hope you'll come and visit me when you're in New York, and please tell everyone, the cast and the crew and everyone behind the scenes, will you please thank them because they could not have been more gracious and generous will. to me. I will. They, they loved you. Will you tell I them that, that, that they really need... Fun, special. If they, need a, if they need Kelly Curtis to come back and make it another appearance on General Hospital, just call me. Okay. Love you, Katie. Thanks. Okay, thanks, Nancy. Bye. And General Hospital airs weekdays.